Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to reconvert my mom's old computer that I upgraded recently into something else, a NDI viewer, so that you can do video distribution in different areas of a church or a building with only using OBS in your network. Alright, so the issue that I have at my church is that in the multi-purpose room where everybody sits, um, we used to have a closed circuit TV and for whatever reason somehow the cables got cut. So now when you're in different areas in the church, mainly the multi-purpose room, you can't see the service. So this is what I'm going to do with the gear that was left over from my mom's church, I mean from my mom's computer upgrade. So, ever since in my home church, I um, boosted up the Wi-Fi, so now Wi-Fi is reachable throughout the entire church. And um, since we're running OBS to live stream, OBS has a plugin that you can use NDI. That way that you can uh, distribute video, high quality video over your network. And a lot of times, like um, PTZ Optics has um, PTZ cameras to where instead of having just a power cable, SDI cable, remote cable, and all this other stuff, it will run everything and send power to the camera over an Ethernet and you can control it with NDI. So that's some of the features that you can use with it, but it allows you to actually broadcast that same video as well. So on the live streaming computer, that's what helps with the boost with the video card that I did in this video. Um, it's going to give me some more horsepower to be able to handle the encoding and distributing of the video at the same time. So what I'm going to do is turn on NDI on our live streaming computer so it will stream to different areas inside the church. But I'm going to use my mom's low power um, AMD Simpron um, computer because that's all it's going to be doing is decoding that video and putting it up on the big screen so I got a small case that's supposed to be coming in to fit this mini ITX board so when that comes in I'm gonna go ahead and build that put it up and I'm gonna test it on my system here here at the house all right all right so my case is here and I was looking for the smallest case possible so that when I install this at church it's gonna be connected to a TV that's hanging on the wall and I want this to be small enough so it's portable and it's inconspicuous so people won't be messing with it. So let's go ahead and get this out of here and we're going to put the parts in there. Alright, so what do we got here? We have a Cooler Master Elite 110. This was the smallest case that I could find that was sub $50 that I can fit my mom's old um, ITX motherboard in here and they got these things super tight in here so let's let's get some tools all right I got all my parts assembled here excuse the mess I'm using the kitchen table so we, this is the mini ATX from my mom's upgrade. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that in here. Got the power supply, got a solid state hard drive that I was used. So we're gonna go ahead and just build this thing up.
Okay, so we got Windows installed here on the system. And what I wanna share and show you is the NDI tech type software. So we're gonna go out here to NDI's website and we're gonna go to their tools site. All right, so let's just go down here. And what we're mainly gonna be using is the NDI Studio Monitor, which again is free software. All right, once you get registered here, go ahead and click on download. And it's gonna ask for us to register. I haven't gotten anything, but what I normally do anyway is I always have a junk email address that I register this stuff for. So you go ahead and fill that out and then you'll be presented with the download. So let's go ahead and skip ahead on this one. All right, we got the tools installed now, I mean, downloaded and installed. And you get a bunch of tools when you download this, but we're only gonna be using one. So if we come in here, and like I said, this is a raw copy of Windows, so we got all this junk on here that needs to be removed. Um, let's go down here to the NDI Tech folder. And you get a whole bunch of apps here that you can actually use. I mean, it comes with the install, but like I said, we're only gonna be focusing on the studio monitor. So let's go ahead and launch that. Now inside of here, you it's just blank until you connect to something. And as you can see, it is connected to my OBS session that's recording this. So it's going on to infinity and beyond. So let me see if there's another site that I can have it go to right now. So we're gonna go right click on here. Now it's gonna show in your network what NDI devices are being available. So right now, when I get to church, this is what's gonna be showing up, but I'm here at home and this is what's showing up. So my main, well, my secondary recording system is being picked up. That's what I have the NDI settings turned on to. And then inside the settings here, um, you can go in here and say, do you want to run this when Windows starts? And yes, I do, because this is meant to be a system that no one's really touching. So I'm going to lock this down afterwards, but once it starts up, it's automatically going to go full screen into the full NDI monitor. So it shows up just as if another connection is coming through and it's going to be broadcasting there the entire church service. I have controls here, web controls if I want to. I don't really need that. I'm concerned to make sure that the audio is going out. Um, and I'm gonna have to change this when I get here because again, it's hooked up to my switcher right now. So I would click there for my audio. So it will be looping through, all right? And it's gonna be regular, um, this will be my regular audio connection when I'm actually connected to the computer. Um, actually, let me take that back. It's gonna be audio through HDMI as well because that's how the video and the audio is gonna go to the TV. All right, you can always bump up the volume here if you wanted to. Our video, which is fine. I'm actually gonna turn this meter off because I don't need to see the meter that the sound is on. I don't need a tally indicator either. So let's turn that off. But like I said, this is the reason why you would use this is if you had an NDI camera and you wanted to have a viewfinder like I did in the previous video so you can see exactly what the camera is looking at instead of looking at the multi-view. And that's the reason why I keep looking over here because my multi-view is here and I have the whole computer hooked up to my ATEM. This is the only way I can actually see this right now. All right, so now that I got that all done, let me go ahead and have it point to my system over here all right so I'm recording this off camera right now this is what I'm normally seeing this is the multi view for my ATEM so let's go ahead and bring up a different image so if we're looking at in the green right here this is the computer that is going to be acting as the NDI ND monitor that's running and I'm just going to bring up some colors so we can see so this is what's being broadcast from the ATEM, but here is showing, or I actually don't have preview, it's on here on the top. That's what's actually showing up on the computer. And let me just show you that that's what's going on, because we're gonna... So as you can see, everything that's being displayed on here is live. Like I can switch back to
So as you can see on the screen up here, this is the ND album, so it's picking up the same thing that's being broadcast. So that's ideally whatever is going to be displayed here at the church, the program, that's going to be going to our live stream computer, which is the computer that's running the NDI output, which over the network is going to this computer and on the NDI monitor, that's what's going to be displayed full screen on the TV. All right, that's pretty much it. So I'm a might show up some follow-up video to when I actually install this in church but I got two days until that happens so I have no reason to go over there right now to install this but I will install this early Sunday and then hopefully um, everybody will be happy with it because audio will be coming out and people will be able to see the service and again the fact is on the other side of the church it's going to be delayed so there's really no audio coming from the sanctuary so the only audio is going to be coming from the TV so I think this should be good so again this is AJ guys go ahead and hit that like button also consider subscribing and make sure you click that bell notification that way you get notified when we come out with new videos this is AJ and we will see you on the next video later